Hello and welcome to another edition of Fifth Grade Math. I'm Mr. Manella and joining me joining me today is Yes, it's me. Stu! Apparently it's me, Stu. Stu, whose ears are apparently cold. Where'd you where'd you get the hat, buddy? Oh, do you like it? I do. Yes. Um my cousin sent it to me. You know, Phil. Philly fanatic. Oh right. I, I forgot he's your cousin. How's he the doing? Uh, it's been well, busy. It's been busy in Philly lately. Oh, man. So, he was hanging out with our other cousin, Gritty. Wait, Gritty's your cousin, Whoa. too? Yeah. Yeah. This explains a lot. Yeah. They're pretty fun guys, but, uh, man, like, Gritty has been, like, all over the map right now, and so, uh, Phil's been trying to keep up with them, but, uh... Can't keep up with Gritty. Yeah, no. No, that's what Phil said. I mean, Gritty's a lot younger than Phil, too, and... Oh, yeah. I mean, Phil's yeah. older than me, so... Yeah. no. I mean, yeah. Phil's uh, taking a lot of naps nowadays. I don't blame him. He's had a, he had a really busy November. Yeah. A lot of... A lot, lot of, of, of parties. A lot of good things lot happen of in... Parties. A lot of good things happen in Philadelphia. Yeah. And like, Gritty gets into all the parties. And so Phil's going along, and Phil can't keep up. But uh, he's having this awesome hat. That's great. It's a great hat. Yeah. It looks good on you. Oh, thanks. It matches. Yeah. Am I shouting, though? Because I feel like I can't hear you. I mean, you're not any louder than you normally are, what? or less loud. Oh. <laughs> Can you see? I mean, mostly. Yeah. That's why I keep looking everywhere. It's the sides. The peripheral vision. Is that how you say it? No. Uh, no, it's not. What is that? When you look off to the side. Uh, peripheral. Oh! See, I've only read it. I didn't know how to say it. Now, well, you should never make fun of somebody for pronouncing something wrong if they use the word correctly, because that yeah. means that they read it in a book and they didn't know how to say it. Yeah, I read books. For a, for a long time, I thought the word loathe was spelled loathe, or pronou <laughs> pronounced loathe. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to laugh at you. No, it's fine, because I read it in Calvin and Hobbes when I was like eight, and I realized yeah. it meant hate, but I didn't. I never heard anybody say it until I was like 15. Right, you used all the context clues. Exactly, because Calvin yeah. was talking about Susie, and he was like, I really loathe girls, and I thought loathe's he was saying... I thought he was a little okay. Yeah. <laughs> you guys should read Calvin and Hobbes if you haven't read Calvin oh, and Hobbes. Oh, yeah, no, all the time in the bathroom. My favorite bathroom book. You took my Calvin and Hobbes into the bathroom? Was I not supposed to? I can't see. <laughs> maybe we should maybe we should get into the math. Yeah, let's do some math. Okay, so today we're trying something new. What? Yeah. So Normally, after our little intro, right, we do an animation, like a computer animation, where yeah. you hear Stu and I and Gene when he's here, but you don't actually yeah. see us. You just see things on the screen. Well, on the computer. Today, we're going to try to do all of that on the whiteboard. There, yeah, the whiteboard. So, uh, wait, uh, yeah. Back, and then wait. the angle will be different, but we're going to try to do it on the whiteboard. And that way, you know. I don't have to make any more of those animations because it's really like labor intensive. Yeah. And I love making these videos, but those animations are hard. Yeah. Plus, I got, this, I got this fancy new whiteboard and I want to use it, but I do want to know if you miss the animations. Yeah. Because like if they help you and, and, and like the whiteboard's not perfect for you, like let me know and yeah. tell me. Or let because your teacher know. Because you're willing to do the hard work for your students. Right. And, I, and there are still going to be some animations, like basic yeah. ones that explain things. But we're gonna get into some more complicated stuff with fractions, and yeah. it's gonna be just—it's gonna be easier for me to do it on the whiteboard, and I think it's gonna be easier to explain on the whiteboard yeah, as well. Let's see. Yeah, it is. I think to the whiteboard. Okay, so without further ado, yeah. let's go to the whiteboard. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. We're off. We're off. Okay. So in our last lesson, we learned that when you add fractions and they don't have a common denominator, you need to get a common denominator. Now, the first question we asked ourselves was what? Uh, oh, can one be turned into the other? Right. Now, by multiplying. You can yes. turn any number into any other number if you add, but we're not doing yeah. that. We're multiplying. Yeah. Yeah. Can you multiply and turn a 3 into a 5 evenly? Uh, no. No, and what I say by that is, does 5 appear on the 3 times table? No, it does it not. It does not. Okay, so that means that we're going to have to do something called cross-multiplying. Okay. But so we'll explain what that means. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to multiply 5 times 3 to get our new denominator. Because obviously 5 and 3 both go into whatever you multiply them into. Okay. So what is 5 times 3? Uh, 15. So 15 is our new denominator. 
Whoa. We're filling our 15s. Look at that. 15, 15. Okay. Oh, so instead of turning one into the other and then filling it in, you multiply them by each other and fill that in. Right. Okay. Now, so because I multiplied this five, right? Yeah. Times three? Yeah. I'm going to do the same thing to this numerator. Whoa. Times three. Okay? Oh. Which is really this three here. That's why it's kind of like I'm cross multiplying. Okay? Oh. So what is three times three? Uh, nine. Nine. And make sure that you don't put your nine over here because it's the first one. So it's got to stay okay. the first one. Now. Okay. So all those first ones are in red. Right. Now this three. Uh huh. How did this three turn into five? What did I multiply? Or into 15, excuse me. How yeah. did it turn into 15? Uh, you gave away the answer. Well, what it is it? It was five. Times five. <laughs> yeah. That'll happen sometimes. Yeah. Okay. Are we going to shoot another take? Friends, we are not. No. So, <laughs> we're already two minutes into this one. Yeah. That's two minutes we'll never Why get back. up? We're not going to do it yeah. again. <laughs> okay, so now this one has to be multiplied by five. Ah. Same as the other one. So you do the same thing to and the And that was like five. five times one here. Okay. Ah, so you cross. And that's why it kind of looks a little bit like a butterfly. You know, people might say, but that's, you know, we don't. That's pretty. Oh, what is that? Yeah. Oh. Butterfly. So yeah. You might hear somebody call it the butterfly method. But oh, it's okay. cross multiplying. I'll write it up here. Okay. That's what we're doing here to find that out. So now we have 9 15 okay. plus 5 15 So what's 9 plus 5? Uh, 14. 14 15 Almost, almost one whole. Okay. Yeah. That'd be so. like if you had a pizza cut in 15 pieces and somebody just snarfed one. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. Now, if you're looking at this and going, what the heck just happened? Oh, yeah, no. We need to do this, like, way more times. We're going to do several more of these. Yeah. So, it's oh, not like okay. we're done, okay? Hang out. We're not going anywhere, okay? I mean, I'm following along, but there's no way I could do it by myself right now. Yeah, this is going to be one long, continuous take. Yeah. So, okay. let's pick another problem. Let's cross multiply! We're going to keep our color system going, but I'm not going to draw a butterfly every time. Okay. okay? So, our next problem, one half... Minus two sevenths. We make our lines. Make sure we have the minus sign in there. If you make a plus sign there, it's going to end up being wrong. So don't do that. All right? Okay. Okay. Now, can you turn a two into a seven by multiplying? No. No. Seven cannot. is not something you can just do that way. No, when you count by twos, you don't get to seven. Okay? Yeah. So... First number with a seven, if you're counting by twos, is a 70. No! Ah! I know, it'll take a long time. <laughs> I know, I know. Wow. Okay, so, because nothing that ends in seven is going to be divisible by two, but we're getting a little bit off track. Oh, man. Yeah. So it has to start with a seven, and the first number that starts with seven and also ends in zero is 70. So, what? I know. Oh, my gosh. But we're not going to 70ths. We don't have to go that far. Yeah, okay. Phew. What is two times seven? Uh, 14. So 14 becomes our denominator. Okay. Okay? Now. Okay. The first thing we're going to do, we, we multiply 2 times 7, so we need to do the same thing Man. for the 1. Man, it's smart to put those little uh, lines, those circle lines up there. Yeah, every year there are kids who don't want to do the lines, and then they end up messing something up. And I'm like, you should have done the lines. And they're like, yeah. I didn't want to do the lines. Well, it's like... It's like a little reminder. I didn't get where I am now doing math videos with Muppets yeah. by being wrong constantly, Okay. <laughs> Yes. I'm not always right, but I'm usually right. Yes, but you're so, at the heights of greatness now. Yeah, nothing like it. So yeah, hold on, I gotta fix my hat. Keep going. Something's wrong with your hat? Uh, yeah, now it's fine now. Ah, you, you look fresh, man. Yeah. Okay, so one times seven is uh, seven. Seven. Yes, one half is seven fourteenths. Fun fact about one half: if you take the top and multiply it by two, you always get the bottom. That's an equivalent oh. fraction of one half. Okay. Oh. Now. Wow. Seven. Times what gave us 14? Times 2. So we need to do the same thing with this 2 up here. What's okay. 2 times 2? Oh, well, it's 4. It is 4. Uh, you see we multiplied it by the denominator, right? Went right across. Yep. Cross Thanks. multiply. Oh, do. And now we can just do 7 fourteenths minus 4 fourteenths. And how much is that? Um, oh, wait, three, I, didn't put, I didn't put my 14 down three here. Four Don't forget to do that. 3 fourteenths. Oh, yeah. Fill them in. Fill them all the way in. Yeah. If you'd mess that up and, like, 
put the 4 fourteenths first, then 4 minus 7 would have given you, like, negative fourteenths. This would have been all terrible wrong, wouldn't it? Right. And so if you put the 4 first, you can't do 4 minus 7. Some mm -hmm. people are going to say, oh, 4 minus 7 is 3. No. Yeah, 4 minus 7 is negative 3. It's not work that way. And we're not dealing with negative numbers here in fifth grade. Always make sure your 7 or whatever it is that came from your first numerator stays first. Yeah. That's another reason to draw the lines. Okay? Yeah. It reminds you of which one goes where. Yep. That's mm -hmm. very important. So you just do this little swoochery do. Pretty much. Oh. Okay. We, we probably we probably we should need do more. Do, yeah, we should definitely yeah. do another one. Definitely more. Mm -hmm. So I really like practicing with you. It's fun. Yeah. If you're wondering yeah. why I'm looking down there, it's because I've got problems written down that I want to do <gasps> on a whiteboard on the floor and I need uh, to turn and look at it. You're organized. I am organized, but this is not a high budget production. <laughs> so Let's look at the next one. The next All one is right. three tenths plus four What's sixths. What's the next one? For three tenths and four sixths. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, tenths and six, those are even numbers. So you'd think you could turn one into the other. But you can't. But you can't. You count right. by sixes, you're not going to get to ten. Can't do it. Nope, so we're going to need to cross multiply. Cross multiply! What is ten times six? Uh, sixty. Sure. Ooh, this is a big one. It's going to be, a, yeah, the denominator is yeah. big, which actually means smaller pieces. Oh, yeah, it means pizza getty. That's Smaller right. Smaller pieces. That's right. Yeah. Okay, now, how did we turn this ten into sixty? What did we multiply we by? Multiply it by six. We did multiply by six, so now we need to also multiply the three by? Six. Six. Six um, goes to the three. Uh, 18. It is 18. Yeah. Make sure your 18 goes in the right place. Oh, man. Am I going to be able to add this? Well, how did six okay. turn into 60? Times uh, what? Times 10. Times 10. So we do the same thing with okay. the four. How did... Okay. Uh, times 10. Times yeah. 10. Uh-huh. Same as these. And what is, 40, what is four times 10? Oh, that's 40. It is 40. So now we just need to add 18 and 40. Now here, uh, you're like, how am I going to uh, do this? You don't need to line these up. You can break 18 into 10 and 8. Uh, What's 40 plus 10? 50. Now add 8. 58. Oh! Whoa! Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! You just made that super easy by yeah. breaking it up. Yeah, you can always break up your numbers into like 10s and 1s and then add the 10s on and then add the 1s on. Yeah, because like, adding 10 is super easy. You don't need to count from 18 up, like 40 up yeah. to 58 by 18. I was 18. thinking about it. You could do it that way and you'd probably get the right answer, but... When you're counting like 18 times, that's like 18 yeah. chances to make a mistake. Oh, yeah. But if you just add 10 and then you add 8, boom, yeah. 58. 58 60ths. Also almost one Did hole. I say that right? 58 60ths. That is correct. Oh, nice. Yeah, that is almost hole. You're only 2 60ths away. Only 2 60ths away, that's right, to make oh. a whole one. Yeah. Okay? Oh. Let's do like one more. I yes. think you're getting the hang of it, but I'm going to try one more. I think I am. Okay, so we got 7 ninths minus 3 fourths. Okay. Hmm. Start thinking about that. Can you turn? Wait, what? Seven ninths. Seven ninths. Yeah. Oh, minus nine. three fourths. Okay. Uh, Remember, it's minus. So keep your minus sign in there. Gotta keep it all organized. Can you turn a four into a nine by multiplying? I surely cannot. No, you can't. Okay, so what's no. nine times four? Um, thirty-six. Thirty-six. Yeah. A perfect square. Oh, it is. Yeah. You know huh. what that means? Nope. I just said I did. A perfect I square. didn't want to look dumb. A square is when you can multiply one number by itself and get that other number. What number times itself equals 36? Oh, 6 times 6 is 36. So 36 Such a great rhyme. Yeah, good one. Yeah. Okay, now we are okay. going to deploy our red marker for the first fraction. Yep. How did this 9 turn into 36? What did uh, we, multiply? we multiplied it by 4. So we are going to do the same thing to this 7. Yeah, 7 times 4. Yes. See, the 4 multiplies by the 7. Right. What is 7 times 4? Uh, 28. Correct. Man. Woof. I haven't practiced in my multiplication tables. Good. But I'm still always nervous. Well, that's that's natural. You okay. know, I mean, even professional athletes get nervous. And they, they practice do? all the time. It's like their job. Sure. Okay. Absolutely. Right. Okay. okay. You should ask your cousin Phil. He's around professional athletes all the time. Yeah. I'd be I careful about asking Gritty, though. I don't know that I trust anything he says. <laughs> so. Yeah. I mean, I love him. He's but got some stories. He's an icon. Yeah. Even though he's really young. But yeah. Mm -hmm. He's, uh, he's yeah, a no. the wild man. Okay. Yeah. Now, how did 4 turn into 36? Uh, times 9. Correct. So 3. 
times uh, 9 oh, is? Uh, 27. Correct. Ooh, we're going to have a small answer. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, good. I'm glad there's subtraction. <laughs> that one's really easy. Yeah, it's 28 minus 27. One. It sure is, because they're only one apart. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad we didn't add them. <laughs> well, if you had to add them. Do you think um, you could break it up? You could break it up. What's it, you know what eight plus seven is? Uh, fifteen. It is fifteen. Yeah. Okay, and that's something you shouldn't have to count to do. That's why we do our fast facts in class every day. Yeah. So that we don't have to go eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. So that's fifteen. Hold that fifteen, right? What's twenty plus twenty? Forty. Okay. Now fifteen. Break it up into ten into five. Okay. Uh, forty plus ten plus five. What's forty plus ten? 50. Plus 5. Oh, it's 55. It's 55. Oh, that's not as bad. No. It's that was bad. a nice little side journey yeah. into addition. <laughs> Mental math is important. Yeah, it is. Because We're getting, getting, my brain is like, like exercising. There's a there's a little hamster in there doing push-ups right now. And like when you get somebody gives you change at the store, you don't want to sit there and be like counting. Like, yeah. Did I get the right change? Like, no, no, man. No. Okay. Just zoom. Yeah. It's okay. So our answer is 136. It is. That's very, very tiny small. So small. So, so small. So small. But small things can still be powerful. It's true. <laughs> like your breath. <laughs> Although your uh, mouth, I was saying, you're, I you're not that my big. Mouth really big. Yeah, you're not that big, but you're like seventy percent mouth. So, <laughs> and the other twenty, yeah. other twenty nine percent is nose, nose. <laughs> and one percent fur. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. I, okay. I'm probably going to forget this tomorrow. We should definitely keep practicing, but I think I kind of got it. We will definitely practice it more, and it'll come into all kinds of other fraction instruction. Yeah. And we're going to do a recap to go over it again. Oh, a recap. recap. Okay. Yes. Let's do a recap. Recap. You ready? Uh, yeah. Yeah. And you're wearing your cap for a recap. <laughs> See what I did there? Keep your day job. <laughs> <laughs> Thought I could sneak one in, but... Uh, Shot down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Recap. Recap. Okay. So to recap. Yes. If you need to add or subtract fractions, and you need to get a common denominator, then you more often than not you will. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you can't turn one into the other. Mm -hmm. You have to do something else. What do we call that? Um, cross multiply. Right, you have to cross multiply. And yeah. That means you multiply the denominators by each other to get your new common denominator. So if it's three and four, then it would be twelve. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And then you multiply one numerator by the opposite denominator. Yep. Across. You, uh, yeah, like the cross, and then you switch it. One yep. numerator by the opposite other denominator cross. to get your new numerators, and then yeah. you can add or subtract. Now remember, you can't switch places. All right. You can't take mm -hmm. one numerator if it was the first fraction and then put it as the numerator for the second fraction. Yeah. Because in addition it won't matter, but in subtraction it will. You Definitely can't do that. It won't matter. Yeah. The order matters. Yeah. And so once you cross multiply, you're good to go. Yeah. It's kind of like how you cross the tie here on your little... Oh, yeah. See, yeah. I crossed it. And it holds everything together. Yeah. Well, you're... Yeah. You're a bit of a loose cannon, so what? it's good that you're being held together. <laughs> and maybe your teacher yeah. is called the cross multiplication method, like the butterfly method, because you'll like oh, look like this and circle yeah. things and you know. You like butterflies? I do. Sugar butterfly, my baby. You singing Crazy Town lyrics maybe. right now? What? I gotta take away your YouTube subscription. This is, <laughs> this is ridiculous. No, Spotify. It curates it for me. Oh. It and makes me a playlist. You're into like late nineties one hit wonders? Yes. A lot of great, there's a lot of great one-hit wonders from the yeah. late 90s, mm -hmm. back when I was in middle school yeah. and high school. Yeah. Painting things in white out on my backpack like a cool kid. <laughs> yeah. That definitely <laughs> let people know that I had good taste. Oh, yeah. yeah. Did you have a trapper keeper? I did not. I really wanted one, but my parents never got me one. Oh, yeah. My parents good. got me plenty that I needed, but they never got me a trapper keeper. And to oh, be fair, I didn't man. need one. I had a binder. Oh, okay. But it wasn't a trapper keeper. Yeah. I wasn't that cool. I didn't have a Trapper Keeper or a Starter Pullover. and Those are like the 90s what? things that I really wanted. Starter Pullover. A lot of people like the Cowboys, I heard. And I didn't have any like Lisa Frank folders either. Oh, those are awesome. I know. The dolphins and yeah. the <gasps> butterflies. And we've made it full Cross circle. Cross butterflies. Oh, we better get going though because I can't see. Oh, your hat's over your eyes. Yep. Okay. Yep. Well. We've gone too far. The camera's that way. Wave. What? This concludes Bye. our video lesson.
See you next time. Bye. Bye.